are you on Twitter? Whichever connection here, we are all connected in one to the Lord as a family of the Lord. So we welcome you knowing that our God has invited us and said, come, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So as you come today, I pray that you will receive the rest from the Lord. And just as we have studied today, it is that shalom, that peace that is beyond comprehension. And may that be your portion. Remember, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous <coughs> and they are saved. <coughs> Welcome you. Uh, we will want to just make this very uh, straightforward, please. Um, we are going live on YouTube and our other connections. So please, at this time, if you would not uh, want to be part of this uh, service, we would also encourage that you can also disengage. Uh, other than that, I will encourage you wherever you are for us to have this beautiful fellowship. Put on your camera, but put off your microphone. We want to see your faces as we all worship together. So put on your camera. Uh, this is the house of the Lord. And our Lord will want to see all his children smiling, happy, praising him in unity. So put up the, uh, the volume. That way we'll not have any distraction or any noise in the background. But put on your camera and that will be very beautiful. So we welcome you in the name of the Lord and say, the Lord bless you. The volume so that I agree no button email as any other Rossica match naked barany nilo, but go fake it up. Is the name we now have so you have both now have Christ born your wine. Amen. May you be blessed, may you really blessed as you fellowship your in the midst. In the name of the Lord, may you really be blessed. 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 As you fellowship your in our midst. In the name of the Lord, may you really be blessed. 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 As you fellowship your inner mates in the name of the Lord. May you really be blessed. May you really be blessed. All by his Your by is your name, mighty warrior, prayer in battle. Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior. Prayer in battle, Jehovah is your name. Anamato, Imaragi, Amwari Basu, 
this process tell little I surrender your I surrender on all to deep my blessed of your I surrender when the trumpets of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the royal is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the royal Call up yonder, I'll be there when the roll is called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, and when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There is power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you are evil, the victory win? There is a wonderful power in the blood. There is power. Wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Standing on the promises of Christ, my King, true eternal ages. Let us praise this ring, glory in the highest. I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. We'll, we'll go ahead and have our call to worship. Our call to worship is coming is, co is coming to us from Psalm 95, 6 verse 6 and 7. It reads, Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people he watches over, the flock under his care. Amen. Our affirmation of faith. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety coming to us from Psalm 18, verses 1 and 2. 
with these readings, I call the church to worship. Amen. Oh, worship the King, oh, glorious above, oh, gratefully sing his wonderful love, oh, shield and defender, the Amen. We'll go ahead and have our, our intro with our prayer at this time. Holy Father, we pray that as we go through the worship, that you, O Lord, will bless, will take absolute control in all that we do today. Be glorified, be magnified, O Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our opening hymn is taken from SAH 294. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil as we win? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. There is no would you be free from your passion and pride? Amen. Our 
scripture text will be taken from Second Kings chapter 4, verse 26. Second Kings chapter 4, verse 26, and it reads, Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with the child? And she answered, it is well. May God bless this reading and add blessings to it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come ye disconsolate where I want to invite you now as we seek the Lord face in prayer. Let's pray. Our gracious God in heaven, we want to thank you for the gift of another day. A day we can worship you in truth and in spirit. Thank you also mighty Jehovah for making this possible. What a day that we can really rejoice that we are worshiping with the entire world. Because this is because of the grace you have given us through technology. So we magnify your name, we thank you because you are a good God. Take glory for all things. And now we want to ask the Holy Spirit to come, Spirit Divine, come and abide with us. Come and attend to our prayers this afternoon. As we pray and present issues, problems that we have, that we know that you can package and then bring to our Father which art in heaven. So Spirit Divine, attend to our prayers this morning and make our hearts, Lord Jesus, be all the things that we have in our hearts today be acceptable unto you unto you. Amen. We thank you because you've already promised you would do that for us while our Christ is listening and then we'll put sweet and smelling incense in our prayers this morning so that they will rise up and be acceptable unto our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So now we present to you mighty Jehovah all the issues of all the people that have gathered here today one after the other we want you to come and attend to their issues. We thank you, mighty Jehovah, because you've made this possible. We do not know all the issues that each individual have today, but you know everything. So Lord, we want you, mighty Jehovah, to come and answer. Amen. Is it sickness? Is it pain? Is it joblessness? Whatever it is, mighty Jehovah, we want to humbly come because he said that if we humble ourselves and they pray unto you that you are faithful to answer them. So we have come as we are because you want us to come as we are. We have come presenting these issues this morning. So mighty Lord, do not look at our sins, but answer the prayers of your sins today. Amen. First of all, we want to present to you the issues, these pandemic issues that have enveloped the whole world, one after the other, one country after the other. We have all been touched closely and extensively 
So mighty Jehovah, we want to present this pandemic issue to you because you know everything about it. So Lord, we want to present families that have diseased, that have diseased individuals in those families. And closer to home, we want to remember the Allah's years. We want to remember the more belows. We also want to remember the wild goes who have lost amongst us members. All we want to do is continue to ask you to give them comfort at this time. Mm -hmm. May you not allow them to mourn for too long because you don't want us to mourn for too long because of the hope we have in the first resurrection. And that's the hope we have that at that first resurrection, we will be able to unite with our loved ones. Mm -hmm. So mighty Jehovah, come and continue to comfort these families. And for those that have been left behind, mighty Jehovah, we ask you to continue to protect your children mm -hmm. in the ways that you want to protect us. There are those that leave their beds every morning and then they run into to save others. These have been described as the frontline workers. And you know that we are part of the frontline workers and you have been saving us mighty Jehovah. We say glory be to your gracious name. Amen. There are also those who are frontline workers who are there in the remotest part of this world preaching your gospel. This pandemic has also affected that work. And Lord, we're asking you to make it easy for them so that your work will continue to be preached all over the world, even while this is going on. Mm. We want to remember the poor. We want to remember the homeless that have been seriously been affected by the pandemic. That, oh Lord, you will be, you, you put blessing on their food and water, mighty Jehovah, as they continue to labor through this stressful time. Uh, we want to remember the first responders as we have prayed for, that you continue to uh, you know, deliver them and Lord, Lord to guide them. We want to remember children. Recently, we have heard that this virus has now started affected, affecting children. This is contrary to the first opinions that we had from medical people. Mighty Jehovah, we're asking you to come and protect our children mm -hmm. and give them a safeguard, Lord Jesus, as we go through this. Mm -hmm. The elderly, we want to present before you. The elders, we want to present before you because this virus, they are so susceptible to this virus. Please come and give comfort and safeguard to all our elders at this time. Mm -hmm. We want to remember the heads of government. Mighty Jehovah, the strong have come down on their knees. All the heads of government who thought that they had military power, they had everything it takes, mighty Jehovah, to conquer anything, have now succumbed to this virus. But Lord Jesus, you are also the one that raises those who are broken down, who fall down. So mighty Lord, we're asking you to come and raise them up and Lord, give them the knowledge and the ideas they need they need as this virus is being fought. We must not forget those that are working to produce vaccines, those that are working to produce uh, treatment for this virus. Mighty Lord, I hope they had asked you before, but I know you are the revealer of all things. You revealed to Daniel things that were not known by even people, by heads of departments, uh, by head of government. I am also sure you will be able to reveal to them so that they can find cure, they can find uh, vaccines, they can find a way to save this humanity just for the elect, uh, for the elect that are still in this world. Mighty Lord, come and reveal to them so that this knowledge will be theirs at this time so that they can save. Mm -hmm. And we also want to remember those that do not know you. Even with the pandemic and all things that are going through, there are still people who do not recognize that you, that God rules, that you are in charge of all that happens on earth. We want to remember them, mighty Jehovah, that this virus somehow will reveal to them that you are God and you are in control. I know you will be the God that we worship, and I know you will continue to control the, the activities of this world. Most importantly, Lord, we want to pray for the guidance and protection of your children today under my voice, mm -hmm. that you will continue to lead us 
to paths of righteousness where you want us to go. And in ending, Lord, I want to remember the preacher of today, that you come and imbue him with your spirit. Come and guide him, mighty Jehovah, as he speaks. And, and give us the hearing ears that we can hear today, things that will prepare us for eternal kingdom. Mm -hmm. Take glory, O oh Lord, for all things we have prayed for, and even those we have not mentioned, because we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Happy Sabbath, Church. At this time, it's our offering. And it says the offering is a sign of blessing. I don't know about you. The Lord has blessed us tremendously. For the fact that you are alive today is a blessing. For me personally, the Lord decided to put a smile on my face. Despite whatever that is going around me, the Lord decided to bestow the degree of doctorate of nursing practice. It's something that I have been looking for. The Lord blessed me this day. Find in your heart something that the Lord has blessed you with and thank him in a different way through giving. We have a, an, an online giving and e-giving. Please go at this time and express your thanksgiving. I'm going to read from the Bible, from Malachi chapter three, verses eight to 10. Which, which says, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me, but ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithe and offering. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall, be not, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Amen? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you can satisfy our every need and desire. Your word says that we should give honor to you with the first fruits of our abundance. Father, please accept our tithes and offering as a gift of worship to you. Multiply what we give for the effective growth of your kingdom. May Christ dwell in our hearts through faith so that we, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to know the love of Christ that surpasses all knowledge. May we be filled with all the fullness of God to Christ our Savior. Amen.
again, we welcome everyone and thank you for the giving and thank you for the worship thus far and thank you for being part of us. And uh, as uh, the sister who presented the tithe and offering has said, find a reason in you to praise the Lord. And sister, we rejoice with you that uh, the Lord, even in the midst of this, is wiping your tears to see the goodness of the Lord. So we congratulate you. Uh, so we go on now to say, Dr. Amarachi Uriako. So we welcome you, sister. The Lord, uh, 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 we praise him for crowning your effort with uh, success. And to each one of us, we say, the Lord continue to bless, give you reasons to praise him. And uh, we... Again, thank the Lord for time as this, wherein we can all gather to hear his word and to be blessed by his own word. And uh, today the messenger he's sending to us, uh, we can see that uh, technology is now making it a global village that all of us can worship together. Uh, we have in our midst today, Pastor Ferdinand, Mosu, uh, the communication director of IMO conference in Eastern East Nigeria conference of uh, Seventh Day Adventist. Pastor uh, Ferdinand, uh, his background, wonderful background, a man who came to the seminary. His father had sent him to the seminary to just go and do uh, religion and uh, in English and religion just away from uh, the court in the universities, not knowing he was sending him a Catholic, sending him to the Adventist <laughs> seminary. And there, the word of the Lord, like he caught Paul, caught Pastor Ferdinand Mosu. And his father never knew that his, the son he sent there as a Catholic has now turned to become an Adventist. Not only the day the father went to the mailbox and got his uh, appointment letter, did he know? And he said, wait a minute. I sent you there to go and do religion. What is this letter I have in my hand? You are a pastor, a Seventh-day Adventist pastor? And uh, that is the man who is speaking to us. His uh, story is quite very interesting. Uh, pastor Ferdinand? Uh, people will call him the camera preacher. Uh, it's a man the Lord has blessed abundantly. So he's coming to us uh, all the way from, from, from. So Pastor, we welcome you. He's a man married with uh, four children. And uh, mm -hmm. the Lord has blessed his ministry. We welcome you to First Ibo Church. Uh, we pray the Lord to use you mightily today. And uh, bless his waiting church. So after the choir, the next voice we'll be hearing will be that of Pastor Ferdinand Mosu, the communication director of uh, uh, IMO Conference in Eastern Nigeria. Pastor, you are welcome to our church. The Lord bless you. The choir. Thank you very much. Is it Thank you. 
kaini keji kelegi, obu gini kaini keji chadi mo. Asina rani buna nyono, ozuri ji kelegi jihopa. Fred, unmute yourself. Amen. Amen. Am I online now? Can I be heard? Yes. All right. I want to thank you all for a wonderful invitation to preach on live stream here in Nigeria. Imo State to be specific. First of all, I would like to bring greetings to my president, Pastor Dr. Obola, and also the union president, Pastor um, Odo. I'm very happy to be here today. Also, a special greetings to Pastor Rundu for making it possible for me to be online with all of us at uh, this hour. But before I go into uh, the message of today, I would like us to bow down our heads as we close our eyes in prayer. Father Almighty, I thank you for this moment. I thank you for your word that is made manifest and that is made ideal in our lives. Speak to us today and bless us individually. For it's prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. If we just thanks to the choir for that beautiful song, the render. And I know that, that God will continue to be with them over there. Before we go on, we would like to take the Bible reading from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 26. 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 26. And I'll read. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with a child? And he answered, it is well. And I'll be speaking on the subject today, it is well. You, you want to say uh, from, from this uh, verse of the Bible that this woman was actually on the run trying to come meet the pastor Elisha, which means something was going on in, in her life that wasn't okay. But in no minding the happenstance in her life, she still said, it is well. Friends, I don't know what is going on in your life. I don't know the penury. I don't know the pain. I don't know the ideal thing that you're being brought out with. But whenever you want to confess it with your mouth, always say, 
it is well. We know it is not well, but when you say it is well, the God of wellness will make it well for you in Jesus' name. Before we understand the scenario that is going on in verse 36, I'd like you to turn with me and let's start from verse 8. And when we get to verse 36, we'll be done for the message of today. So 2 Kings chapter 4 from verse 8 says, And it fell on a day that Elijah passed to Shunem, where was a great woman, and she constrained Elisha to eat bread. This is happened on a day that Elisha had a program in Shunem. And so he, he had been going to Shunem, evangelizing, and be, and be going back. Maybe in the evening time, he comes and go do the evangelism and then go back. But the Bible made us to understand that at the place in Shunem that Elijah was evangelizing, that there was a great woman there. And this great woman, the Bible said, asked Elijah to come in. In verse 6, let us make a little chamber. I pray thee on the wall, and let us set for him there a bed and a table and a stool and a candlestick. And it shall be when he cometh to us that he shall come in thither. Remember in this verse, in verse 9, the woman seeing the activity of Elisha, she said in verse 9, and she said unto her husband, Behold, now I perceive that this is a holy man of God which passeth by us continually. As Elisha was doing this evangelical work, seriously, in, in, in the time of Shunem, this woman was working. And then she told her husband, I perceive. I perceive that this is a man of God. This is a man of God. And then he invited Elijah that whenever you're through with evangelism, whenever you're through with what you're doing here in Sunan, always come into my house and eat bread. And the Bible made us to understand that Elijah does go there to eat bread. And he took another step further, telling the husband that they should make room for Elijah. They should make a room for Elisha, put up a bed, put up a stool, put up a candlestick. So whenever Elisha finishes, instead of going back home in the night, in order to face danger of being, of being attacked, the woman provided shelter for, 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 for Elisha to, to, to stay in his house. She provided food, she provided shelter. Friend, that I want to ask this, does the word of God Feed in your house? Does the word of God have an altar that, that, that's made in your house where the word of God says, where you pray and get out with your children and, and wives and, and, and to, to, to talk about your problem? Does, does the word of God feed in your house? Does the word of God have a place in your house that you meet to talk to God? And then verse 11 says, and it fell on a day. But Elijah came see that. And he turned into the chamber and lay there. Verse 12 says, And he said to Gehazi, his servant, Call this Shunammite. And when he had called her, she stood before him. And he said unto him, Say now unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us with all this care. What is to be done for thee? Would have thou be spoken for to the king or to the captains of the host? And she answered, I dwell among my own people. You see, you see, because of the good deeds that the woman did for Elisha and Gehazi, uh, Prophet Elisha, uh, they started thinking of the good thing they can do for this woman in return. Let me tell you, friends, whenever you're doing good, God is planning a good reward for you. And so, and so they, they were planning, what can we do to this Shunammite woman? And so they invited this woman, and the woman came and told them, I don't need anything from you. I showed you concern. I showed you goodness for goodness sake. I gave you food because I see you evangelizing, and you need to eat. I gave you shelter because I see the, 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 the endangering process of going back here late in the night. I did all these good things for goodness sake. I didn't do it because I need any reward from you. So the woman was doing good without any hidden agenda. 
and so she rejects it, that anything should be done in the world for her. And I want to believe that every good deed is done without any reward or any agenda of reward in mind. Such goodness are rewarded by God himself. But for this is, and he said, what then is to be done for her? What then is to be done for her? Since the woman rejected that anything should be done for her, still Elisha and the, the prophet see called Gehazi and said, what can be done for this woman? So friends, if you do good, God will reward you. As long as you are doing the good for goodness sake, without any hidden agenda, God will need always plan to reward you. He will go on ahead making plans on how you will be rewarded. You will go on ahead making plans on how you will be made happy. So they still insist within themselves and said, what can be done to her? And then Gehazi told, told Elisha and said, you see, this woman had no child. She's rich, she's great, she has houses, she has cars, but she has no child. And, and another thing is that the husband is old. So this woman has an impossible thing. She has no child. And again, the husband is old. And he said, Elijah said, call her. Friend, there is nothing too hard for God to do. There is nothing too hard for God to do. And he said, call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the door. And he said, about this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, no, my love. Thou man of God, do not lie unto thine handmaid. <laughs> when, when, when Elijah told her about this time next year, because of this good thing you've done to us, even though you're not requesting anything from us, the woman show you kindness. By this time next year, you are going to have a son. And the woman said, don't lie. Why did she say don't lie? Because the husband is old. She also is advanced. And so who is going to put now? Is this the, the, the old Husband, Elijah prophet, all the good things I did for you is for goodness sake, it's for the, pro it's for the progress of, of the evangelism. But the word of God has gone forth and it must achieve something. So the Bible says, and the woman in verse 17, and the woman conceived and bare a son at that season that Elijah has said unto her according to the time of life. Will somebody say amen? Every good thing you do without any hidden agenda of a within the world, God will meet you at the point of thy need. Amen. And so, and, 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 and the Bible says, and the woman conceived and bare a son at that season that Elijah had said unto her, according to this time of life. And in verse 18 says, and when the child was grown, it fell on a day. Friends, a day begins the story. Remember, we read in verse 8, it fell on a day that evangelism, that, that, that Elijah said his evangelism, and then it fell on a day that this woman saw Elijah, and that it fell on a day when the, when, when the son has grown, that he went out with his father to the farm, that is to the reaper. So, so the man was happy at old age, he had a son. All his life, during his, his middle age, his young age, he had no child with him. He, he, he was walking alone with his wife and, and walking alone into the farm and, and walking with the reaper without anybody beside him that he can call his own. But God has blessed him, not just a child, but with a son. And so this man at his old age goes around everywhere with his son. Friends, when you are blessed with, 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 with a mouth watering blessing, you wouldn't just... But, 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 but carry it along. And so this man was walking to the farm with his, with his son that God blessed him with. And the Bible said, and the boy said unto his father, my head, my head, my head. Friends, whenever God blesses you, the devil is not happy. Whenever God blesses you with amazement, the devil is not happy about it. The devil will do all he can do to turn the blessings of God in your life to sorrow. The blessing, the, 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 the devil will like to turn God's name, Ihani Chupu, to become Ihani Chupu. 
God, the, the devil would like to turn everything that God has done for you to become a, 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 a heart wondering and head aching thing. I feel that what God gives is not okay. But I want to tell you today, whatever gift that God has given you, that God, no matter what the devil does, will bring it back to his normal state. Will somebody say amen? And, and, and the side of it is in my head, my head, my head. And he said to the lad, carry him to his mother. When the child said, shout in my head, my head, my head, the man said, carry him to his mother. And this is a typical African, African factor. When a child is doing well, oh, you didn't know. When a child is not doing well, oh, you didn't know. Oh, you didn't know. Oh, you didn't know. Oh, you when he's, when he's doing well, I will make a man. When he's doing bad, I will make a man. And this is a typical African way of life. So this man said, take this boy back to the mother. I, I, I don't know what happened between him and, 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 and Prophet Elisha and how this boy came about. But, but I just want to tell you, now that he's having headaches, take him to the mother. But when he said, and when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knee till noon, and then the boy died. The hope that God gave them became hopeless. The ungodly that God gave them looked as if it is not good enough. They lost hope. They lost pride. They lost happiness. The woman carried the baby that has given her life, that has given her joy on her knees. And she was watching, and this baby and this boy died on her knees. And that's what one said. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. I will say, Amen. Do you have an altar that is created in your home where you circle around and pray and talk to God about the penury, the pain, or whatever you're passing through in your home? Do you have a place you, you, you prepare as an altar? That is the place you always go when there is a problem in the family to still talk to God about it. From that place that you set apart for God as an altar, when you lay your problems there, by the name of Jesus, your problems will be answered. It will be solved, friend. Amen. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. Verse 22 says, And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. Verse 23 said, And he said, The husband said, Wherefore we thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor the Sabbath. And she said, it shall be well. What an encouraging word from this woman. Not minding the, the, the happenstance in her life. Not minding the reality of events in her life. She always says, it is well. Friends, whatever is going on in your life, whatever be the idea, it may be joblessness, it, 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 it may be disunity, it, 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 it may be sickness. But always profess with your mouth that in the name of Jesus, it shall be well. And the God of wellness will make it well for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the woman said, it shall be well. Then, she, then, then this woman started and asked and said to her servant, drive and go forward. Slap not thy riding for me, except I be thee. The woman told the servant, continue to move forward, except I tell you to, to stop. Friends, in Christendom, it is who goes there. Yeah, it is. In Christendom, it is for whatever, backward never. As long as you're pursuing the truth, as long as you're pursuing the truth, God, don't allow anything to lay you back. Amen. Then she started an answer and they rose on, and in verse 25 says, So she went and came on to the man of God, to the Mount Carmel. And, and it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off. The last time I saw her afar off, I knew that there was danger. With this kind of pace, with this kind of wrong, there is danger. And he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shunammite. And verse 26 says, Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with the child? Gehazi went there, and the woman said, It is 
well. Amen. When Elijah saw her, he, he, he started with her and then her husband, and then she went to the child. And this is the entirety of a family. God is speaking to every family present here today. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the loss you might have encountered, but I tell you in the name of Jesus, it is well. Because Jesus, there is nothing impossible with him. Yes, in truth, there is, there is pain in truth. There is COVID-19 in truth. It is hard, but with your mouth, always say it is well. Because when you say it is well, you are giving praise to God. And when you praise God, you raise God for yourself. But, but when you cry, when, 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 when you complain, which is what the devil wants to achieve in your life, crying and complaining and whimpering, you are singing upward to, to the devil. In your pain, in your soul, always say it is well. When you say it is well, you are raising God to stand for you. Because praise raises God. No matter your situation, praise God. He will rise up for you. But when you cry in your pain, when you whimper in your pain, when you complain in your pain, you are singing out to the devil. He will be dancing to your pain. He will be rejoicing to your pain. He will be rejoicing to your soul. But in your pain, when you say it is well, the God of wellness will make it well for you. I didn't hear somebody say amen. And when she came to the man of God, to the hills, she, she caught him by the feet. And friends, you know that by the feet of Jesus, we are made sick. At the feet of Jesus, we are made well. But Gehazi came near uh, to thrust her away, and, and the man of God said, let her alone. Let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her. You know, sometimes when somebody starts to cry because of what happened to her, let the person cry out the tears. It, it, it releases the body of the heart. It is natural. So let her alone. Let her cry. She's back within, and the Lord has delivered it from me. Have not told me. Then, and in verse 28 says, Then she said, So Elisha, did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, Do not deceive me? Elisha, I told you, the goodness I'm doing for you is for goodness' sake. The kindness I showed you. It's for kindness sake. I didn't ask anything in reward. But on your own, you prophesy and a child came. Now, this guy is now a scene of pain to me. He's no more. He's gone. It is, it is now looking like a Sihani Tupu has become Sihani it, Tupu. It, 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 it's now look like a Sihani Tupu is now talking about to be back. Pastor Elisha, did I ask anything from you? Did I ask you to, to bless me with something that will cause me pain later on? So many questions because of what is going on in, in, in his life. And this is the time that you can pour on to God as it is with you. He is with the prophet right now. He's on the feet of the prophet, telling it as it is. So when you get to your place of prayer, you can tell it to God how you need to tell it. But when you get out, say it is well in Jesus' name. One day you realize that it is well in Jesus' name. Even though you know you've not eaten, but say it is well in Jesus' name. And the God of wellness will give you food. You ain't got money in your pocket. Go sweat in the corner to God and say that it is to God. But in public, always say it is well in Jesus' name. And the God of wellness will make it well for you. And then, and then, uh, then he said, and when she came, all right, in verse 28, when I in verse 29, then he said to Gehazi, then Elijah said to Gehazi, Jump up thy lion, lions, and, and take my staff in thy hand and go thy way. If thou meet a man, salute him not. If thou meet a man, salute him not. And if any salute thee, answer him not again. And lay my staff upon the face of the child, and I know the child will be made whole. And the Gehazi went forth. He went forth on his way. Okay. Because the young man, the young boy with the staff that Elijah gave him, the friends, the Bible made us to understand that when Gehazi passed on before them and laid the staff upon the face of the child in verse 31. But there was neither voice nor hearing, wherefore he went against to meet him and told him, saying, the child is not 
awaken. And my, and my question is, why didn't the child awoke? Why didn't the child awoke? Well, it was Elisha, the prophet of God, that gave him the instruction, go touch this child with the staff I have in my hand, and that child will rise. But Gehazi went there, touched the child with the staff, and nothing happened. And I want to ask, what happened? Remember, Elisha, Gehazi was given an instruction. As you are going with the staff, if anybody greets you, don't answer. And you yourself do not greet anybody. And Gehazi, as he was going, because he was holding the staff of Almighty Elisha, wanted to pry it along the road and started to do And they went, well, you said, I'm going to go to the I'm to Elisha, and I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to after Elisha, not me. So I tell me what he was he was he was priding himself along the road. Friends, pride dislodges miracles in our life. For miracles to happen in Christendom, it has to be a humble, obedient, spiritual expression. That means you have to be Christianized in egotism. Whatever you are, whatever talent you are, whatever influence you are, whatever money you are, you must place it under the shadow of God Almighty. Nothing should be about pride. Pride, this logic miracle from coming to you. It was pride that brought the devil from heaven to the island of the earth. Pride will stop miracle, real miracle from coming to you. So this young man, he has this, priding himself with the staff of, 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 of Elijah, this was the miracle, and it didn't happen. And so when, when, when Elisha got there, the Bible says, and when Elisha was coming to the house, behold, the child was there and laid upon his bed. What a rhyme. The child was there and laid upon his bed. Bed and the bed of the man of God. It's like something darkness and the light of God. Friends, when you are sick, go to the altar. Your story will change. When you are half eight, go to the altar. Your story will change. Because at the feet of Jesus, a sinner is turned to a saint. And he went up. You know, Elisha and I went up into the house, alone with the child, and shut the door. He did it in front of the woman, started talking uh, 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 hard to, to, to Gehazi. He did like a good leader would do. He did like a, a good pastor would do. He did like a good husband could do. He did it in front of the woman and said, Gehazi, sorry, for the woman. He did not do that. He didn't do that. He did it in front of the woman and said, Gehazi, sorry, He didn't do that. He didn't do that. He went on to do his job. Maybe after all, he would, he would talk to Gehazi. And then, and then he went into the room, friends, and locked himself up with the child. And, but, 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 and he went up and lay upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth, and his eyes upon his eyes, and his hand upon his hand, and he threw himself upon the child, and the flesh of the child became warm. Would somebody say amen? Something, something, something was going on here, and the Bible calls it propitiation. In Greek, it is hilasmo. You can find it in 1 John 2, verse 2, and 1 John 4, verse 4, that God is seeking substitute. I call it spiritual below the same. When, when Elisha stretched himself upon the tire, mouth to mouth, eye to eye, leg to head, an exchange was going on. An exchange was going on. Would somebody start exchange? And that thing was going on. Destruction went out. Restoration came in. And that thing was going Amen. on. Condemnation went out. Rejection Amen. came in. And that thing was going on. Segregation went out. Congregation Amen. came in. And that thing was going on. Destroy was in. But God took the glory. And that thing was going on. Friends. And that thing was going on. Sickness Amen. came out. Healing Amen. went in. And that thing was going on. Darkness came out. Light went in. And that thing was going on, friends. Sadness came out. Joy went in. And that thing was going on. Death came out. Life went in. And that thing was going on. COVID 19 went out. And God be forever went in. And that thing Amen. was going on, friends. And that thing was going on. And I personally call it 
spiritual bureau the same. <laughs> Are you jobless? God will bring him job for us. Amen. Are you sick? God will bring him healing. Amen. Are you down? God will raise you up. There will be an exchange because he knows you are helpless. He's going to bring in confiscation. He's going to be a substitute. You know, how many you go to call and they rejected you? This time there will be an exchange. Jesus will go with you and you shall be accepted in Jesus' name. The child became warm. And Elisha went back again and did the same thing mouth to mouth, eye to eye, leg to leg, and something was happening. And the Bible said, The child sneezed seven times. And for all who know the Bible and those who preach the Bible, you know that seven in scripture is a symbol of completeness. I'm here today preaching to you. To tell you, to tell you that is listening, that God will complete what He has started in your life. Amen. Because there is going to be a spiritual exchange. He will take the best in you and give you life. There's going to be an exchange. He will take the sickness in you and give you health. There's going to be an exchange. He, 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 he will take the, the bills that you've that you've accumulated, he will come into it. I'm taking to a step where those deals will be paid. God is performing an exchange, a spiritual exchange, taking what is lost in you and giving you what is found in Him. And when it comes to you, you will sneeze seven times. That means there will be a completion of what you have heard in your life. I want to leave you with this Amen. word today Amen. and say, as you Amen. believe and deal with the word of God, that this exchange will come into your life. Your sadness will turn to joy. I leave this with you and say, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I would like to pray. I would like to pray with you all those that are ready for this exchange that God should perform propitiation. You can't do it alone. You have to come in this time that we have pandemic all over and everywhere. You have to come in this time to be a substitute. But what you've lost, you will gain. Let us pray. Father Almighty, I thank you for the message. I thank you for this live stream, and I thank you because your word has gone out. When your word goes out, it comes back achieving something. Uh, for all those that are listening to your word this hour, make an exchange. Make an exchange. An exchange in health, an exchange in, in where their family is going on, an exchange in their lifestyle, an exchange in, 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 in what they are passing through, for that we pray for an exchange. And we pray that you will complete whatever you started in your life. Mm -hmm. I pray that it will be so for us. For praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Pastor, for the beautiful family. Amen. Thank you, madam. Amen. Thank you, sir. God yes, bless you. Uh, we thank the Lord for the word. Pastor, I want to thank you so much for the word and uh, for blessing the people. And we Amen. pray that this mighty exchange, divine exchange, will be our portion. That whatever Amen. the enemy has taken, has stolen, that the Lord will restore. Amen. And we can go Amen. on and say, it is well. Amen. Because Amen. Jesus doeth all things well. Amen. Thank you for blessing us, and we thank God. I may knock on you to bless your ministry. Amen. So we'll go ahead and have the closing song. It's not done. After that, we'll have our prayer of meditation, song of meditation, and prayer of meditation. Closing hymn is taken from SCH 251. I serve a reason, Savior, his in the world. Today, I know that he is living, whatever man may say. I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of care, and just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along last narrow way. He lives, 
He lives, salvation to impart. You ask me, oh, he lives. He lives within my heart. In all the world around me, I see his love and care. And all oh, my heart grows weary, I never will despair. I know that he is leading through all the stormy blast. The day of his appearing will come at last. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation oh. to and heart. You ask me how I live. He lives within my heart. Rejoice, rejoice, O oh Christian, lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the King, the hope of all who seek him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, to him. Must go ahead with the benediction. All right, uh, let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you greatly for your word that's gone out. And I thank you and I believe that you will come back achieving something. I lift up each and every one of us to your perfect hand this hour. As our faces are different, so our pains and problems are different. Yeah. But Father, with you, we actually care. So I pray this moment that you visit every individual that are listening to us this moment Amen. and have an exchange with them. Amen. We are passing through pain. Father, have an exchange and give them joy. We are passing through joblessness. Father, have an exchange with them and provide them with a job. Amen. Passing through residential Amen. problems. Have an exchange with them and make their faith permanent. Amen. So are passing through bills and what to have to pay and meet up with their bills. Have an exchange to them Amen. and bring them to a place that life will turn around for them. So are passing through hard times. They lost the loved one. They are, they are crying. They are, they, are, they, are, they are losing it. They are losing comfort. But uh, give their substitute. Amen. Give them hope. Give them hope that it is Amen. not over yet. Amen. But oh Lord, this COVID-19, that is a pandemic all over the world. We pray for your exchange. Take it yes, away Lord. from the world. And let yes, God Lord. be this for us. Yes, Lord. Thank you for all the souls. Today. And I pray almost that when you come again the class of heaven, may we all that have faith and walk in you be among those that we follow you. Mm -hmm. I pray in Jesus' name.
for a moment of meditation go ahead at this time have your own time with the lord oh, father thank you for your love and i walk uh, go ahead and request for your own exchange with the Lord that which you want just tell him begin to round up your prayer father thank you that you are a God who do it all things well thank you for this message as we go into the new week now may we go rejoicing not only that it is well, but just as you gave your son for our sake, you are also going to turn our story in this new week into a story of thanksgiving, of testimony, and knowing that you, O oh God, is a God of exchange, giving the best so that our weeping might be turned to joy. So go, God leads you, God bless you and rejoice in the Lord now and always. Amen. 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 Um, this is, we have had a moment of worship. This is a moment for fellowship. But our fellowship today, you could notice that uh, when I was introducing the speaker, I was saying he was sent to the seminary to just go and do religion and English and come out from a that is church in the Sabbath to just come out from that Adventist school as, as a Catholic. But something else happened. Pastor uh, Fred, let me call you the way we call you. Pastor Fred, come. Can you tell us a little of what happened? I know now mommy is uh, an Adventist. Daddy is no, is uh, caught in between. Yeah, yes, yeah, tell a little bit mom. of your story. Well, that's your journey All from right. Aswa to, to your first posting with your suitcase and everything. Just a little. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's quite. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, we hear you loud and clear. All right, it, it, it's quite interesting. My, my dad worked in Nigeria always uh, as the candle handling manager. He worked in Nigeria always for 35 years. And it was there that uh, I got myself in back off that Aswa then. Uh, he didn't send me as, as, as Catholic that we were to go there to do theology. I was sent there to read English and then uh, uh, religion as the major, uh, as it was then. Uh, it was along the way that I had the call as a Catholic to, uh, to change my study from uh, religion to theology. So when, when I graduated, I went back home to, to, to our house. And one day, uh, Pastor Ongu, the uh, president then, sent a letter to my dad's uh, mailbox, because that is what I did. And then he drove to uh, very early in the morning that day and went to the post office, got the letter. And then he came to me, called me up very early in the morning by 4 a.m. and said, yeah, you will pass. That was a will pass. That will pass on the SDA. Let me tell you. Let, let me, 
let me let me let me let me tell you come back in your future let me tell you i'm a pastor here gda you have me the fire on one way to your own you have one fire on one side fire on our side you get up is that what i spend money in aqua for you to go and learn <laughs> stop speaking very early in the morning i took my traveling bag straight to where they posted me the members were outside waiting the youth were outside waiting to come my load but i passed them as a catholic and i knew that was the tradition i passed them as a catholic and asked them is this same day attend this talking about road they said yes i said i'll be fast for posted they said they call the way no pastor <laughs> And that was my uh, uh, that, that, that that was it. It was it, it, that was it. I went into a house, uh, a parlor with three rooms, no chair, nothing. And my dad, we, we stopped speaking for some for some time because of that decision. I was alone. The 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 that is why the women in the church are powerful. They 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 they, they, they gathered around and got me a stove and 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 two pots. And uh, the, 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 the pots were not empty. They were one was with a goody soup, which is water, and then and then the other one with apple, 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 apple. I, I ate it that Friday, and on Saturday morning, I think after preaching, within one week, the men brought me home. Oh. That is how my life started. <laughs> and so, one day, when my mom, when, when my mom, when my mom came to our back to meet somebody, he, 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 she was fortunate to come and see. Preaching somewhere, they all the money to go for it. My mom got back there. Mm. He became an Adventist. He was there. My mom is an Adventist. That my dad is free. God is good. And, that, and, and today, uh, my, my dad is my best friend. Oh. My dad is my best friend. And uh, mm. I'm, I'm so happy for the journey. I'm so happy for the journey. My dad is an Australian and he's, he's 19 years old now. Mm. And he doesn't joke with me. He doesn't joke with me at all. He doesn't joke. But he's the reason why I'm still here. Amen. The reason why I'm still here. So I'm happy with the I'm happy with the experience, and I'm satisfied with the way that God is ordering my steps. Because He says the steps of the righteous are ordered by the yes. Lord. Don't move yeah. faster than God. Mm-hmm. Do not move faster than God. People yeah. can assume that yeah. spirituality movement is by perception. Mm-hmm. Remember, this Lamech woman perceived that Elisha was a man of God. He did not assume. He perceived. He, he, he felt it. She felt it. So, friends, that is my journey. And it, it, it is interesting, and I'm happy about it. Amen. 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 What? Uh, people, everyone, you can really see that uh, this uh, Zoom fellowship now, Zoom potluck, is very interesting. Pastor, Thank you so much. And I know that some of your yeah, colleagues at Aswa, they came around. I know that Ima Osuya is here to also welcome you and uh, some of your colleagues. So I will quickly yeah, man, go God. through. Yes, uh, Ima is somewhere here. I saw him. I will see quickly go yes, through uh, our guests uh, so that I can uh, greet them. Pastor, um, Pastor, just a little bit. Like Please, once Pastor calls anybody's name, can you just allow the person to greet before you say amen so that we can see the person's face? Yes, yes. To say to say uh, something so first. Before let me quickly go to all our guests. Then I'll come to the members, our own home members. Uh, I see Brother Frank uh, Adibe from Lagos. Happy Sabbath. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brother Frank. And, uh, Amen. Yes. Uh, I see uh, Mama Junior Berry. Mama, you know what you are doing? I'm telling you, I'm not telling you. 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 Uh, brother Ozaron, Alex Ozaron. Mm-hmm. Brother Alex, uh, you unmute yourself. Uh, okay, I can see. Okay, brother Ozaron, quick. Yeah, and the kind there one, you know, 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 you
Ah, si Sauzang. Happy Sabbath, God. Happy Sabbath, sister. God bless you. Yes. And then I see uh, Prince Tumoko. Happy Sabbath, Madeline. You are going to do my Jesus. Amen. And then I see Brother uh, Chibu Zonyema. You are supposed to, you have finished preaching over there. Eh? Yes, I have. I just okay. came over here. They can in the one. In the I know Tony. I am the man. Okay. Brother Frank, good head. You know Tony, go ahead. All right. Happy Sabbath, children of God. Happy Sabbath. Wow. Yeah. See everyone. Okay. okay. Yeah, yes. brother. Frank. Okay. Uh and I'm also we can see you at Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Okay. 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 Ugo, can you unmute Mama? I'm actually looking for her. <laughs> okay. Mama Jisike, oh, happy Sabbath. Happy Hello, Sabbath. Mrs. Uh, oh, Humphrey Okori, I love your neighbor. <laughs> yes. Brother uh, Uche Enina from Lagos, right? Yes. Happy Sabbath. Yeah, Uche Enina. Uche Enina. Uche Enina. Uche Enina. Uche Enina. Uche Enina. Amen. 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 Uh, Amen. Uh, Sister <laughs> Okay, yes, by their arch, you shall know them. Love one day, Hannah. Not so much. All right, uh, brother, Obi, I call smart. Happy Sabbath, to Madden. Happy Sabbath, brother. Obi, for how uh, do you be here that what be called? Okay. Amen. All right. Uh, oh. In if you know to I think this in the if should be from Chicago. Pastor is me or my mom, you're not sure that I'm happy about you. Happy Sabbath, yes. And I see our own pastor here, Pastor Aquaranto. Pastor, you know, to me, Adam, happy Sabbath, Pastor Grawa. I have from all the way from Houston, yes. God bless you, my brother. Bless me. Yeah, you see, you see, good to have you. Yes. And then, uh, Sister Lulu. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Happy Sabbath. Happy oh. Sabbath. You know, totally. Um, I'm fine, thank you. You're the matter. Okay. Good to have you. Uh, then, uh, the I make an iPad. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. I can't. All right. Jesus. You're calling from where, Biko? I'm calling from California. California. Oh, hey, how are you? Fine. Uh, I have no. <laughs> then, uh, brother, sister, Oakwan of Victoria. Mr. Okwano, unmute yourself. Mm 
Yeah. Happy Sabbath, Sister Victoria. I know too late. Okay. Uh, you are calling from where, Sister Victoria? Absolutely, Nigeria. Volume, my when I name any child, the volume from Lagos. Oh, from Lagos. Thank you so <laughs> much. Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's I then I see brother Uzo BM. Thank you. Uh, um, hi. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Okay, brother. Who's the DJ? Here that what we call? I know middle. I know middle town. Upstate. No, middle town. I know the city town. Hey, I'm the city town. We know the corner boys. Hey, right. Ah, uh, sister Jennifer Wosu. Happy Sabbath, all. Happy Sabbath, Sir Jennifer. Are you here? Fine. You are calling from? What's uh... Harcourt? Oh, Hi. thank you. Uh, yes, you're welcome, sister. Uh, Brother Emmanuel Kano. And Brother Emma, you're calling from where? I'm calling from Port what? From Port Harcourt. Yes, okay. Drive carefully, eh? We are praying for you. Amen. 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 Jesus. Okay. Sister um, Adult Chike Manjo. Unmute yourself. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, sister. Sister Wanju. Hey, sister Wanju. Brother, 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 not a sister. From Naked Day, where Imo State, Nigeria. Oh. God bless me. And bless you too, my brother. Eh? Sorry for the mix up, Biko. Eh? Yeah, Pastor Faith, my district pastor. Oh, uh, so you are the people getting all the blessing from him, eh? Oh, and you wear all. I am so Thank you to God. Oh, thank you for sharing him with us today. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Please continue to take good care of him. Yes, Brother Charles, one he way. Happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath. Good morning, Jesus. Amen, amen. Brother, why he would be there? You are calling from uh... Nigeria. Wow, praise the Lord. The Lord bless you, Brother. Why he Okay, uh, Sister Marcia Campbell Thompson. Sister Marcia, unmute yourself. Okay. Okay. Hi. 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 May God bless you all. I'm from Heritage. Amen. 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 Good to have you all the way from uh, Heritage. Thank you. Good, good, good. Um, then Abuoma Bright, I see Sister Abuoma Bright. Unmute yourself. Okay. Sabbath, Omano. Oh, you know, Tole. I remember. Uh, okay. From Sister Boston. Abuoma... Abuoma ah, it's the only. I so, you are calling from Owere, right? No, from Boston, US. Oh, so you heard of uh, Fred and you are coming, eh? Yes, God so Pastor you. was, uh, oh, my pastor. Ah, okay. That's wonderful. To God be the glory. All right. Um, I, I don't want to. She said a boy. Okay, brother. 
I know. <laughs> All right. Um, I, the other ones I see um, people without uh, their own cameras on. I will try to see how, how much I can go. Unis iPhone, I don't see your camera and you're muted. Let me try to unmute you. Unmute yourself, put on your camera, <laughs> sister. You need iPhone. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Happy yes, Sabbath yes. to you all. <laughs> Happy Sabbath. You are muted and I didn't see you again. Where are you? <laughs> I see you. Uh, Hi. Hi. Is seeing her? I don't see her. Oh, Let me see. Wow. Okay, mute, okay, I'll mute your, okay. We only hear your voice. We can't see your picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that you? All right. Happy, Happy Sabbath. Sabbath. You. You're calling from where? From Chicago. From Chicago. All right. Yeah. You must be Mama's child, right? Yes. Ma okay. <laughs> you want to unmute Mama? Auntie Eunice, Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, my sister. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, let me go and unmute her. <laughs> okay, God bless you. All right, let's go back again. Uh, iPhone, I could now Loma. Ah, oh, Loma, how you go? Always come without this your picture. It's so Loma, no tole. Oh, Loma, how you go? All right. Oh, me tole. Uh, all right. Uh, let me go to Doctor. QC, where's the echo? Dr. QC, unmute. Okay, you are, mm -hmm. you are muted. Can we see you? Greet. Okay. Uh, he's not there. All right, let me go to praise the Lord. Sister, brother, praise the Lord. Uh, unmute. No, you can only unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, Sister Sharon. Sister Sharon. Uh, Sister Ify. All right. Brethren, I can come to our own home people because most of all these, uh, the people on uh, the silence, uh, they are not responding. Let's quickly do our home uh people sister Akechi and Yine, please uh, greet us happy sabbath and god's blessings everybody happy yes. sabbath Are you, yeah? uh, yes uh, anyway, yes yeah. uh, that is uh, by name rose and she's been you know uh, sister rose rose Happy Sabbath to you all. Happy, happy Sabbath. All right. Happy yes. Sabbath. Uh, happy Sabbath, happy Sister Sabbath. Rose. Yes. <laughs> Good to have you. <laughs> oh, you know, Chole. I know, Nae. Pastor Kam, but then Mambo. Good to see you. Pastor Kam, but then Mambo. Diko, my, 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 Okay, also, you need to try to unmute Mama for me. All right, let me go. Brother, uh, you're even in a place where you can let me go. Managed, not managed. Managed. Who's the call Christ? Oh, you know what I mean? You make a gazino. Amen. Who should I do? Did I hear your voice? Happy Sabbath to you all. Hey, do it. Hey, do it. Brother I got para please and family I got para I I I did I lose you okay yeah okay okay I can hear you I Sabbath Omano Sabbath Omano my brother Sabbath. Yeah, we hear that brother Ike 
Times in St. Catherine's in Canada now, bro. Amen. Amen. Okay. To God be the glory. God bless yeah, you. Yeah. 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 Then I have a Prince. <laughs> oh my dear, I did. I hear you. I hear you. You see, can you? I have Prince and Princess iPad. Prince and Princess iPad. Pastor, Pastor, yeah, Prince and Princess. Pastor <laughs> Mando, it is well with all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor, yeah. uh -huh. Mama, my brother, uh, let me see. Did I? Yes. Oh, still muted. Okay. Still muted. Oh, muted. Okay. I thought they have uh, muted you. Uh, this is Christopher. Um, Christopher iPad. And but I know it is a uh, is Maxwell. Yeah. That is Christopher iPad. I don't know why it's Christopher. I'll be I will special child. I'm I'll be someone. I'll be someone. I'll be iPad. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, I can have my iPad. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. To God be the glory. Good to have you all. Yes, Ed Oriak. Yes, sir. I can see in you the goodness of the Lord because the wife now is uh, the other standard. Okay. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go. Okay, Abu Spiritual Exchange. Happy Sabbath, everybody. <laughs> Happy Sabbath. Sabbath. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Then this is uh, Sister Chichi herself. Sister Chichi goes Happy here. Sabbath. Don't remember the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> Uh nine one seven four five five three nine one nine. All right. Now let me go up. Sister Vicky, I don't know why we are where uh the two shall be one. What is uh Better come over and greet the church? Okay. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. I'm already one and Jesus. Amen. Amen. The two Vickies. So where is the? Uh... Abiyonya denum. Abiyonya denum. Apora hamade kila abiyonya denum. Oh, oh. Abiyonya. Aham badhako. Manunu no here, but I try me put on a video. Odra ni le manaha Jesus. Amen. Okay. In case, in case, Amen. Uh, in case you don't all know, that is the only attack in the attack of family. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. Eh? Okay, okay, that's okay. Okay. Uh, Sister Vicky, is it brought the brother? Okay. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, Elder no, and Mrs. Uh, Happy Sabbath, saints of God. Happy Sabbath. Yes. 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 Sister Rose, yeah. Happy Sabbath, Church. Happy Sabbath. Sister Rose, we go go any mala palani di mi suwa. Okay. All right. Let me go now, Sister. Then now, just so I can see you, ma. Happy Sabbath, Jesus Christ. Happy Sabbath, my Lord. Wow. Amen. Amen. Where is Uche and where is Ekele and the Happy twins? Happy Sabbath, Church. I'm here. Happy Sabbath. Okay. Where are the twins? Happy Sabbath, Mama. Okay. The, then, uh, and, uh, oh, yeah, the one culture. Sabbath, Mama. Sabbath, Mama, my dear. 
And I will go ahead. Happy Sabbath, Church. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. I, want to, I want to thank all those who, who officiated today for a special officiating. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And to all of us who also listened for special listening. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yes. Uh huh. Now, uh, can I put the head out of war? That David Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, I see uh, brother uh, Bright, uh, where you are, you are uh, Bright Young. <laughs> Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 King Amen. 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 King Amen. 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 Himself. Oh. Amen. Okay, Mrs. Sanyo, not the other side. Okay, okay. All right. And so, can I go? You can Yes. Go ahead, sir. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Happy Sabbath, saints of the Most High God. Happy <laughs> Sabbath. Sabbath. It's a wonderful message. It is well, and it will continue to be well with us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I do the social distance neighborhood. We had women. Yeah, she's supposed to. She's supposed to. Amen. I'm not going to say, 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 I'm John John Lee John Lee I just saw John Lee now. All right, let me still go. Uh, Sister Wakama and uh, Sister Sister Wakama. Good morning, Church. Sister Wakama. Good morning, Church. Good morning, Church. Good morning, Church. Good morning, Church. Good morning, Amen. 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 Okay. All right. And I bury uh, from our also some more part two. Yeah. The guy. Obi the motor in me who knew I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. May the Lord continue to bless you. No, some more part. Obi kuno ha o for my lele. That's enough. I got in the Sister Gold, I want to take over. Mr. Gold, or react from uh, a Winter for Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy 
is the Lord doing? Sister Ola Mumadi, I'm interested in Obu. Sister Ola Mumadi, Sister Ola Mumadi. Aha, I may not do it. Happy Sabbath, all right, Sister Joy, Evon. Amen. Amen. God bless you. All right. Uh, Sister Fanny Abaize. Good after Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's all God's doing. Thank you so no problem. You got it. You got it. Doctor Oriak, congratulations. Thank you so much. Happy Sabbath. Uh, let me just see. Am I missing a lot? Any other one? Yes, our any other one I'm missing. Please help me, help me, help me. Who is it? Allen. Uh, it goes to Elin, because not Allen. Elin, because I'm not sick. Hello. Okay, I can't see. Uh, uh, I'm I'm actually sick here. Okay, I can see most of these ones. They have their uh, this thing just on. All right, let me now come to the main elder himself. Pastor Naomi. Ah? Naomi on you, Kuri. Obe do ama, obe do ama. Ede ebe do ama sinai. Do ama no nga o. Oh, do ama. Ona na mi ko, no ku no gba fi anu, ona na mi so de de iku o de ku o kwa tela. Eh eh, do ama. Enu wa nga e. O si fun ni mu. O ba nyana ha. My official letter. God is good, Okay, uh, brother Owen, uh, where do I have you, brother Owen? Where do I have you? 
this is the man of uh-huh. Well, go oh, ahead. Well, I, the come oh, well, go ahead. Okay, my no. Okay, you're yes, coming from, 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 uh... I from from uh hands here. Hey. Hey. Okay. Wow. Hey. Good. Hallelujah. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. All the way All from again, Okay. All right. So let's. Uh, okay. Let's now go to. Sorry, go to oh, that is great. Good to see you, All right. Nicole, you can my wife very well, though. Yes, my wife. Very well. Let's now go to our own Mama Ugoise Elin Anosike. Go ahead, ma. No, what am I for? You can just mute it. Mute it. Mute it. Mute it. Just press that red button, Lala. The button is mute. Press that button is mute. Okay, now. Uh, okay, now we are going ahead. Uh, Lekanya <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Go ahead. We can't see you. Well, I'm not going to yeah <laughs> 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 Mahari Oh, yes. Amen. Good to have you, ma. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, ma. Okay. Uh, Oh, <laughs> 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 
Yes, prince and princess, up of moon, uh, all the way from uh, Boston. Okay. Yes. Okay, I don't know miss it out. Help me, help me, help me. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, Pastor Mosu, I think we can let you go now. 